Today, I will be providing a review of the paper Solo V2 Dynamic and Fast Instant Segmentation. Solo V2 is a paper that was accepted in uh, NIPS 2020, and this presentation is going to provide my review on, st on the paper. The agenda for the presentation is as follows. First, I will provide introduction of what is instance segmentation, the contributions of the Solo V2 paper, and then I will provide background of various approaches that are commonly used for instance segmentation today, and also a background on non-maximal suppression. Then I will provide the contributions, uh, I will discuss the contributions of the Solo V2 paper specifically, and there are two contributions. One, they provide a new method for non-maximal suppression, and then the method for direct instance segmentation. Finally, I, I will provide my review and the summary. Before we dive deeper into the contributions of the paper, it is important to understand what is uh, segmentation and how it differs from object detection. Here is a diagram, a picture that I took from one of the talks that is available at this link, which uh, shows the differences between object detection and segmentation. The idea of segmentation is the same as object detection, that we would, we would want to classify different objects in an image. The difference between object detection and, cement, uh, and segmentation is that segmentation takes classification at the pixel levels. We want to know for every pixel whether it's an object or not and also what type of object it is. Further, the segmentation is divided into semantic segmentation and instant segmentation. And the difference between the two is that for semantic segmentation, we are interested in knowing different categories of objects in the image. So for example, if we have number of cars and number of people in the image, it will put a mask of the same color on the people category and a mask of a different color on the cars category. For the, seg for the instant segmentation, we go a step further. Here we want to know how many instances of a particular category are there in an image. And the reason why instant segmentation is harder compared to semantic segmentation is that the number of instances of an image, uh, the number of instances of an object in an image is, is a variable. We don't really know that beforehand. Whereas for semantic segmentation, we do know how many categories we want to predict in an image. So the authors of the paper Solo V2 aim to improve the instant segmentation. This paper Solo uh, V2 stands for segmenting objects by locations. So what do we mean by that? The authors make an important observation based on the COCO data set. They observe that in 97% of the images, two instances of an object either have different locations or they have uh, different sizes. So these are the two properties that are used in solo method to do the instant segmentation. So that's their primary contribution. And then the secondary contribution is that they introduce a new method to improve the non-maximal suppression and the method is called matrix NMS. So let's uh, study the background a little bit for instant segmentation. Currently, there are two approaches to do the instant segmentation. The first approach is called top-down instant segmentation where we first do the object detection and have the bounding box. And then for the, for the objects where we have the bounding box, then we do the instance segmentation. The example for this category is a famous R mask RCNN model. It extends the faster RCNN model by adding a third parallel branch to the network that is responsible for doing the 
instance segmentation. The second category of instance segmentation methods is the bottoms up approach. Here, the pixels that are similar are first grouped together. And then there is some sort of post processing that happens to do the instant segmentation. It's noted that these methods, they lag in accuracy compared to the top down instant segmentation. So I didn't really um, go into learning more about these methods yet. The contributions of the solo paper is the direct instant segmentation. As the name suggests, it is sort of a one-shot semantic and instant segmentation. There is no top-down or bottoms-up approach, so it's not restricted by any bounding boxes, or there is no grouping of pixels that happens. And it is trained directly on the instance mask annotation. The result is the one-shot semantic and instant segmentation. Here is just a very simple comparison of the mm, top-down method. So here we have the mask RCNN pipeline. Here, this is the region proposal network, which uh, gives the mm, various proposals of interesting objects. And then those are used for bounding boxes and then also for the mask instance mask segmentation. This is the result that we get from the mask RCNN. As we can see, there is a bounding box. And then for that bounding box, there is an instance mask for the object within the bounding box. Here is a very simplistic version of the solo a pipeline. So we take the image, and that image is directly used to output the instance masks for the objects in the image. Uh, here is the same image that was used for uh, getting the output for, from the mask RCNN. And we can see that there are no bounding, box, uh, bounding boxes. It's just solely based on the uh, instant segmentation. Now, that was the background of uh, instance segmentation. I would also like to give a little bit of a background about a method called non-maximal suppression and what it is and what is the relevance of this method for object detection. If we go back to the olden days where we use the slide, sliding window approach to do the object detection, we would get many overlapping windows or bounding box for the same object. And this problem still exists today, even for the networks that don't use the sliding window approach we still have uh, bounding boxes. For example, like the uh, region proposal network, we have several anchor, box, anchors, anchor boxes or uh, bounding boxes for the same object. So in order to remove these duplicate bounding boxes, we use a post-processing method called non-maximal suppression at the end of the object detection pipeline. And the idea is that Hopefully, after this method, we only have one bounding box per object. The way non-maximal suppression works is that for each object, we have several bounding boxes. And each of those bounding box has a certain confidence, confidence score. So we take the bounding box with the highest confidence score first, and then we compare rest of the bounding boxes to see how much they overlap with this uh, bounding box that has the highest score. And then if the overlap exceeds some user-defined threshold, then we eliminate that bounding box. And ultimately, we have a fewer bounding box for every object, possibly just one. The, there have been several methods to improve the existing approach of non-maximal suppression and some of the methods are such as soft nms fast nms so the soft nms is is similar to the non-maximal suppression the main difference is that it does not eliminate the boxes right away and it actually reduces the confidence score of the boxes with the most overlap even farther 
And that's important because as we can see, if there are two objects that are next to each other, just like here, we have two horses next to each other. So using the traditional NMS approach, because there is a significant amount of overlap between the green bounding box and the red bounding box, the traditional NMS approach would eliminate the green box. So we would not be able to detect the horse that's in the, in, that's in the green box. The soft NMS, on the other hand, will still show these two objects in two separate boxes, just that the confidence score for the green box is lower than the confidence score with the red box. The third improvement that was made in by, by other authors was fast NMS. And what this does is that the non-maximal suppression and soft NMS are both recursive algorithms. So they are very sequential. The fast NMS uh, does the NMS in a matrix fashion. It improves the, it, it improves the um, time a whole lot. The matrix NMS is similar to soft NMS in that it does not completely eliminate the boxes with the higher thresholds. And also, it is similar to fast NMS because it also takes the uh, matrix operations uh, route as opposed to recursive algorithm. So this is another slide. I just um, probably I don't need to go into detail, but this just shows the differences between the NMS and soft NMS. The difference is really a one line of code. So here the NMS completely eliminates the box with the most overlap that exceeds the threshold. The soft NMS uh, does not eliminate the boxes. It reduces the score of the boxes with the highest overlap even farther down. So that was the background on non-maximal suppression and the instance segmentation. The contributions of the solo V2 paper are two. One is it improves the instance segmentation by introducing a direct method for instance segmentation that is based on the locations and sizes of the object in the image the second contribution which i will i will review just a couple slides later is the matrix nms so the direct instance segmentation that is based on the object locations and sizes the questions are how are these object locations and sizes used for instance segmentation and we will study that in the next couple of slides.